Come on, Simone. Don't act so tired. We have lots of work to do. Maybe I wouldn't be so tired if I hadn't helped you cook and clean for six straight hours. Don't exaggerate. Just so you can get on your mom's good side, just so you can go to the prom. Wait a second, Simone. Do I have to remind you that if I get my punish vaporized and I get to go to the prom, then your mom has to let you go, too? Oh, yeah. So all that cooking and cleaning and sucking up was for the both of us. But did it work? Well, no, it didn't. But we still have a lot of time. No, we don't. If you haven't noticed, Kay, the prom isn't exactly light years away. It's very soon, and the time I've wasted helping you, I could have spent letting Chad know how much I care about him. I am not going to lose Chad to anyone. No one. Not even my sister. Maybe I should give Chad a call, see what's keeping him. Whatever. There's no answer? I'm worried about him. It's not like Chad to disappear from work and then not come back. I bet he's with Whitney. Why are you always trying to make like there's something going on between Whitney and Chad? Simone, wake up and smell the Kenyan blend. There is nothing going on between Chad and Whitney. And what makes you so sure? Well, because Chad thinks Whitney is a stuck-up little princess, and Whitney thinks Chad is just some street punk with a chip on his shoulder. Not to mention, she knows how much I'm crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, Simone. I don't care if Whitney is your sister. That does not, I repeat, does not mean that she will not go after the man you love. I mean, just look at my situation. Where's your phone? Uh, right here. I'm calling the fire department. What happened? There was an accident by the police station. Some young black kid just got covered in a ton of rubble. Thank God his cell phone started ringing or else we would have never known he was under there. Chad! Oh my God. He's gonna be okay, right? I don't know. At this point, we don't even know if he's dead or alive. But if I was a bet, chances are he's gone. He can't be. Please, please tell me it's not Chad. Please. It's him, Smoke. How did this happen, Whitney? I, I don't know. Look, I was just walking, and the next thing I knew, Chad, Chad just pushed me out of the way. I, what do you mean, the next thing you knew? Why weren't you paying any attention? Simone, I was just walking. I didn't know. What was so important that you couldn't see a ton of rubble about to fall on your head? It's your fault, Whitney. I wouldn't be surprised if you did it on purpose. How can you say something like that? You always resented Chad being in my life, so you took care of it. Chad is not in your life, okay? He barely even knows you. Oh, that's what you'd like to think. But he knows and likes you more than any other girl in Harmony. I very seriously doubt that, okay? I happen to know he is very interested in another girl. A girl that he kissed very passionately today. Who? Forget it. Let's just pray that Chad's okay, all right? I bet the girl Whitney was talking about was herself. No way. Whitney and Chad, they hate each other. Besides, my mother would kill my sister if she found out she kissed Chad. And Whitney would never cross my mother. Besides, I don't care. I'm the one who's going to kiss Chad. And Whitney's right. The only thing that's important now is if Chad's okay.